everyone welcome back to my channel so today you join me at my bookshelf i am in the mood to organize my shelf um i said i don't know what video it was but i said about me wanting to film a video of me organizing the shelf and i just never really have time in the day it's currently quarter to six in the evening and i'm not even intending on starting it i thought let's just introduce the video um so i received bought and received for my birthday around about 20 books and i want to rejig my shelf i'll quickly show you in a minute anyway i've got books that don't fit um anyway so i need to rejig them i've got a second shelf in my conservatory which is half the size of this billy so i've got the normal billy and then i've got the the big one and i just need to have a little sort out and i thought it's a video that i would really enjoy watching so i'm going to film it i'm not going to do like a massive bookshelf tour and show you everything you'll pretty much see it all anyway um but it's just something that i wanted the football is on tonight so neil will be watching that and i thought well I'm either going to have a bath and read or organise my shelf and I'm just really in the mood for it. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly show you the shelf in its current state and then I'm going to wash up and get the children in bed, get them bath and all of that stuff and then I'm going to come and set up my camera and just do some time lapses and talk you through what I'm going to do and blah blah blah. Here's the state of my current shelf. Excuse the bin, I'm now about to take that out. Um, it's not too bad it gets a bit bad up here all these like beauty bits in here these all stay up there all the time anyway um so i've got my switch which does live on the shelf it normally fits there but i've got bits there that just don't need to be there got my makeup bag and then i've just got i use my old um orthodontics box for my battery so i need to charge that one um, and then i've got box sets here or book sets um i just want to give it a rejig i want to take some people out and put them in the conservatory uh for example i'm probably going to take out jenny colgan i'm going to take out lindsay kelk she's already come out um i don't know who else yet i'm going to sit and think about it whilst i wash up I'm probably going to get rid of this whole bottom shelf to be honest and move them into the conservatory and I'll show you the conservatory in a bit uh, and then in here I've just got books and books and books and books and books and books so yeah it's, a, it's an issue but it's one that I want to rectify um, I also I love the idea of doing rainbow but I'm just not going to do it because I like having it done by author and at the moment I've got it sort of author genre. So I've got Lucy Diamond, which is like chiclet, chiclet here, chiclet here, my carol shelf. And then it starts to go into like fantasy slash young adult with all my Sarahs and all my series there. Got my Cassies and then I've got a little bit more, um, what are they called? Like chiclet and stuff and like historical fiction. Um, and then down here, I've got my Kathy Brams, which I haven't read a Kathy Bramley in probably like three or four years. But I just can't, I don't see the point in getting rid of them because I will read them eventually. They're just not what I'm reaching for at the moment. Got my Danny Atkins. I could get rid of them, but I don't want to. They don't match. I'm not collecting her books anymore. But I don't want to get rid of them. And then my Heidi's. And then a couple Jennies. Um Ooh that's my little introduction i don't know how this video is going to go obviously i'm going to be losing light and things like that um but i'll do progress as i go i'm not going to go and wash up think about how i want to do my shelf and i'll come back to you in a bit
Right, I'm having a bit of a situation. I've been trying to sort out my bookshelf for like a good 20 odd minutes. And what's really throwing me off is all of my dark books not in one place. So I've got like my Sophie's here, which are really nice and colourful, and then I've just got dark. Um, I've also got the issue where Florence is screaming in her cot, by the way, she's completely fine. Um, I've also got the issue where not all of my bookshelves are spaced equally, um, just from where it is and some of my american paperbacks don't fit on certain shelves so i've also got that con to consider i'm just not happy with it like this this section here like this bit looks good and then you hit dark um i'm contemplating doing rainbow but i don't think I'll keep it like that for long so it feels pointless doing it like that. I've got probably about 50 books on the bed, don't know if you can see that and then I've got loads on the floor. No you can't see that, wow I'm such a professional. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. And then it's like here on my Sarah J Mass section I've just got like a section of white. Whereas I feel like I need to have like a white section and then a, a dark section. But then I'm also trying to categorise it with like contemporary, chiclet, YA, fantasy. I wish I didn't start this now. So it's a lot later on now and I think I'm happy with how I have done it. I had to rejig quite a lot of things just because like I said um, I've got American paperbacks and it was hard but I'm there and I think I'm quite happy with it. Ideally I want to swap two shelves around and bring everything else down but I can't be bothered to do that right now and I'll speak you through that in a second. Um, I've taken off probably about 30 books which I'm slightly concerned about because I don't think I've got room on my outdoor shelf in the conservatory um, for those books. So that's going to be fun but I'm not doing that today, I'm going to do that um, later on in the week. I'm going to try and potentially get like another storage solution from Facebook Marketplace, but I just don't know what I want yet. Right, I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. The shelf has stayed the same. I uncovered these, I forgot we've got those. Neil and P made me those, so I've just stuck them there with blue tack. Um, so on the top shelf, we've got my Lucy Diamonds and I've got my Lucinda Rileys. Then this is a bit of a mashup. Um, so I've got my Page Tunes, two Sally Rooney's, my Jenny Hands, Two of my Kira Cass books, Stephanie Perkins, I just can't get rid of these because they're beautiful and then I've got my Neil Schustermans still in the plastic packaging. Hello. Hi. And then I've got my Sophie Kays all the way up to there. And then I've got my Jane Fallon's. She's a really hard colour to put, like if they were all white that'd be fine but I don't know, that'll do. Um, so I've moved. Jane Fallon down one and then I've got my Carols which have stayed the same and then I've got my Millie Johnsons which have come up and again this sort of thing really irritates me how uniform these are and then we get this <laughs> um, but I've managed to tie it in with my Heidi Swains um, so that works quite well it was a type of keeping Heidi Swain in here or um, Kathy Bramley and I've decided to keep her because I do I really want to read this um, I just need to find time and then down here is like my 
YA slash um, fantasy section and again I really struggled because I've got certain series split because of some are American some are UK so I've got the selection down here but up at the top here I've got the Air and the Crown so these ones are American whereas the other ones are UK so I've got my Sarah's up to here and then I've got my um, V.E. Schwab's darker shade of magic I've had to take it out of the box because the box didn't fit um, but that's okay and then I've got my Rochelle Meads Vampire Academy 1 to 3 and then I've got 4 to 6 down here because again these are American but then I've also got my Rochelle Meads here I'm currently reading Indigo Spell so I've left a space there um, so that works well and then down I've got my Cassie shelf so these are all UK paperbacks which work really well and then I have put down my Lee Bardugos because I thought this colour tied in quite nicely with that one and then I've just shoved my Anna Todd down there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it but when I get um, book three that will go there and push everything and then this one will need to be moved and then finally I've got all of my American paperbacks up to here as you can see they're significantly taller and then this is all UK but I just didn't know where to put them so that is where they are and I think like this transition works quite nicely and it just it just works for now I think but ideally if I can step back I think what I would prefer to do is um it goes, I know this doesn't matter, and I know it's really trivial, but it's just, readers are funny about their shelves. <laughs> um, it goes like bright, light, dark. So what I'm thinking of doing is Carol up at the top, Millie Johnson second, and basically just move all of these ones down. So then, will probably have either Jane Fallon or Scythe and all of these ones here, if that makes sense. So it'll go light, multicolour, dark. And then these are all the ones that have got to go into the conservatory. So like I said, I've got my Cathy Bramleys, I've got my Victoria Scott. I don't... I should probably get rid of these, but I just loved them and she never finished the trilogy and I'm still gutted about that. Um, there are some on here that I'm going to unhaul and that will be in a different video. This is a duplicate copy of Sarah, so I don't need that on the shelf. got my Jennies. This isn't even all of them. I think I've already put some more in the conservatory. Um, Danny Atkins. Oh, fuck, there's a Millie Johnson. Oh, that's fine, I can fit that in. That's fine. Um, Lindsay Kelk. And yeah, that's what I've got so far. That is going to be it from me today. I'm going to continue with this video in the next couple of days. I'm going to go have a shower and take my bro off. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I don't think you can ever be fully happy. But it'll do for now. Um, and I'm going to try and figure out how on earth I'm going to organise the conservatory. Because I need another full length one. But I don't have the space in there. Because it skims the top of the conservatory I think. Because it goes down at an angle. Um, I don't quite know how I'm going to organise it. But I'll get there. For the second part of this video. And I am in the conservatory. Over the weekend myself and Neil... Um, completely gutted it. It was oh my gosh, flashing. Um, it was in a bit of a state and it needed a rejig and a floor sweep and things like that. So we've done that. I've brought in my chair from the garage and I thought I'd show you with what I'm like the space that I'm working with because I always speak about the conservatory but I never actually show it. So, so this is what it looks like. Let me come over to the door. The gas. So the only access you have is through 
our back door in this way it's not properly attached to the house this is all like solid wall and windows oh god sorry cat um so if i stand at the door this is normally collapsed so i washed florence's blankets and then i've got my hammock stand which will go outside obviously when it's hot and then after the summer i'll collapse it down so that won't be in here i've got florence's chair this is all like storage and stuff my old bedside table whilst Florence is still small. Desk that I just don't use. Chair. So in there is present storage. And then I want to turn this into bookshelf, book storage. And then I'm going to go through all of these. And then I've got to put on the ones that I took off, which are in there, on there, and in there. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I've just emptied, excuse the kids' book, that needs to go in here. This is all the book advent stuff. There's like loads of little bits in there. That's why I store it all. Um, I've just tipped out all of the books that came from my bedroom in there. And then what I'm going to do is sort this out, figure out where I want what side note because it's the conservatory a lot of things in here get sun damaged so I have to cover it doesn't look great but I cover my bookshelves with old duvet covers because it blocks out the light I used to use this um but I don't know whoops I don't know if you can see that it was like that and then it went like that um so that's going to go. I've got all other old duvet covers that I can use to cover it. Um, it's just one of those things that things do just get really sun damaged in here. So I'm going to sit down and sort out how I'm going to organise it, show you, and then that'll be all for this video. And yes, I am wearing exactly the same thing that I had on when you first saw me in this part of the video. Didn't realise I was wearing the same outfit. done and I think it's worked out really well I was going to get another storage unit don't get me wrong I've got some bits on the floor here that I need to find space for but I can it's worked out really well so the bookshelf the back's fallen off and it's damaged but for what I need it for like it's really really rickety you can't really see but like I said for what I need it for is like a second shelf um it serves its purpose and then this thing we were given by our landlord he was going to skip it and he was like you can have it if you want and i just decided to keep it because it's extra storage for in here um and i think what i've done really really works so whilst i was going through the books and putting them on the shelf and stuff there are definitely a lot more that i would be willing to part with now um i definitely have that mentality now where I used to be a massive collector and I am still a collector of books clearly which is why I've got a second shelf um, but I was looking at books some that I've read and some that I've got absolutely no interest in at all and I'd be really happy to get rid of them now so I will probably do an unhaul um, I'll definitely do another one I don't know whether it'll be after summer or sort of around Christmas time I'm not too sure but I will definitely do another one because I've got like a, another good stack of books that I can give to my auntie and give to charity so I'm just going to give you a quick overview like I said I'm not going to do a full bookshelf tour you saw what I did in the bedroom that stayed the same I do still want to flip them around but I just haven't done that yet um and I'll show you what I've done in here so I've got my Kevin Kwan up the top I've got my Kathy Bramley's then I go into Jenny Colgan and then I just got the one spare one up the top um, there. Again, I've only ever read 
I think four of her books. I've read this one, this one, or maybe I've only read three. I've read these three here and they weren't great. Um, so yeah, I could, I could get rid of those. Um, down here I've got my Katie Fords again I just went on a massive collecting phase I don't know what it was I got loads of them cheap second hand um, and then I just then went on to find them at charity shops same with Jill Mansell I've read probably like four or five of her books and the ones that I've read were okay but completely forgettable and I don't remember anything but I just can't bear to part with them because I can imagine it's something I'd want to read later on um, but realistically, if I lost this entire shelf, I wouldn't be devastated by it. And then I've got my Cecilia Ahern's, um, Jojo Moyes, I still need to finish Still Me, um, Victoria Scott's, and then I've got another Jojo, and then there are some more Jill Mansell's. And then the bottom shelf, um, I've got all my Sarah Morgans, again, went through a massive collecting stage Lucy Daniels and then I've got some of my trilogies that I've read this is a second copy of A Court of Thorns and Roses series I know it's weird but I've just got two copies my one and only Leanne Moriarty a couple of Jane Greens Morgan Matson. sorry I just realised I wasn't focused Rainbow Rouse, Jandy Nelson and then Rick Yancey again quite a lot of those I'm not that fussed about like I probably would I definitely wouldn't reread the Rick Yancey series the fifth wave but I don't want to get rid of it does anyone else have this sort of attachment and like the uglies by Scott Westerfeld I really want to read it but I'd probably end up getting it from my library and these I really enjoyed them but again I can't remember anything about them Okay, then over here on this weird unit, I've just got this bit full of like random little bits and then I've got some random books here I've got all my Lindsay Kelks at the back I've got some random ones there random ones here Hang on and then at the back here Urgh. Got my Sophie K's when she wrote as Madeline Wickham if anyone has read these, let me know, because I think I might get rid of them. I started The Gatecrasher and never picked it up again. I think I read maybe 40% and I never finished it and I've got so many of them. Again, I remember finding them in a charity shop. I think they were like 50p or a pound each and they had them all, so I just got them. And then under here, this is a spare hammock. Uh, my Kath Christmas mug. Florence's birthday or Christmas present. I have got all my hardback Jill Mansells. I've read two of these uh, and again I enjoyed the ones that I read but are they memorable? No but I just remember getting these as a bargain. I got these at a car boot. I got three for a pound which is crazy. Um, but I think that's one of the main reasons why I'm holding on to them which is ridiculous. I've got a couple of baking books and then I've just got more stacks there. I can't bother to pull everything out. Just loads and loads of randoms. Pop those back. Okay, so that is me done. I have just covered my shelves. This one, like I said, is going to get replaced. I've got a spare duvet cover. I just haven't got it out yet. Um, I know it's a bit of a weird setup. Obviously, this being outside but still attached and my bedroom window being right there but it works for us and i'm really happy with the space um i really hope you like it too i might potentially start filming videos over in that little corner and have like my own little filming space it's a lot more cozy and secluded in here as opposed to like my loud and echoey dining room um, and it means that i can film in here when florence is napping and still hear her from the window sort of thing so let me know if you like that idea um, let me know if you've seen anything in this video that you think I should prioritise. I'm coming up to my breast reduction now, so I don't know how quickly I'll get round to reading a physical book. Um, but if there's anything you think I should fast track straight up to my top of my TBR, let me know. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Apologies about the appearance. Um, and yeah, I'm now going to go have a shower, get comfy for the night, and I will see you all in my next video.